Hey guys, it's Chin Mayu from CM Reviews and today I'm back with another tutorial. This time it's for the Samsung Galaxy users. As you might be familiar with the Samsung phones, you get a ton of bloatware on your phone. In th some cases it might be useful or may, or may not. For example, I don't really use all the features. So let's do something about it. I'm going to show you how to delete the bloatware. I'm going to show you three different methods to do so. First method would be the most easiest method and to do that First we need, we need to go to the settings, more, application manager, oops, scroll to the right, all the way to the right and see application manager. Here you will see all the apps including the system apps and the user installed apps. If you want to know which bloatware to delete and you are not sure what you are doing is right or wrong, just head over to the link one in the description and see and download the text file and i have mentioned all the bloatware which are e which are which can be deleted without harming your phone for example first one active app manager this is a widget so you can disable it first thing you can do is disable it by this way you won't see the app anywhere now it will be gone from your widgets too this is one way the second method is using titanium backup you can get it on the play store i'll again link leave the link in the description for uh, and for doing this you need to be rooted head over to this tab and here as you can see it's already free frozen so next thing you can do is pick another app you can either freeze it one or the other way it's going to do the same work so for this method also you don't really need the root you can directly do it from the settings menu the next method i'm going to show you might be a little bit risky one and you can do it at your own risk but then again if i can do it so can you so don't worry you can uh, refer to the link <coughs> refer to the list and then select the app and uninstall it hit yes yes and it will be gone one more important thing is like once uninstalled using titanium backup you won't get it back to get it back you need to flash the same firmware again using odin so if you're not sure you are doing it right or wrong i would suggest you go for go for the first method and one more thing is like this won't only improve your performance but also increase your battery backup so it's you're getting best of two things in one thing another thing you should do if you're rooted user is click this tab here and scroll all the way to the down till you see see this orange stuff uh, here you want to click clear cache for user and system apps this will clear all the cache and once again this will also improve your memory backup it will free up more ram on your phone and also improve your performance much better and again it will save your battery life also so that's all for today guys if you liked the video and if you found it helpful please give up a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. And that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching.